look at this right here. Weather control weaponized by world's military. <laughs> Check this out. designer of the St. Louis Arch, Arrow Sarah, is secretly enlisted by the United States military to work for a new clandestine organization. Its name? The OSS, Office of Strategic Services, or as it is known today, the CIA. The fact that Arrow Saarinen was in the OSS designing weapon systems during World War II and at a time when the OSS was looking into ways to weaponize weather, makes his whole connection to the design of the St. Louis Arch extremely interesting. Now, that isn't to say I believe it can control the weather, but it does open the door to the idea that it might have been one of the things Saarinen was out to achieve. While at the OSS, Saarinen designed buildings and weapon systems, many of which were never completed or built. Is it possible he later used these secret plans to engineer the St. Louis Arch, creating something that can actually control or perhaps harness the weather. Controlling the weather is the ultimate super weapon. It's even more powerful than the atomic bomb. So if Eero Saarinen was involved in analyzing and studying the possibility of weather modification, and you put all those factors together, and I think you have a guy that basically conducted a big, giant weather modification experiment with the St. Louis Arch. Weather as a weapon? There are some who think the idea is not as preposterous as it seems, especially when considering that even today, Many world governments are pouring millions of dollars into research designed to manipulate weather. I think weather modification has definitely been an ongoing endeavor of governments all over the world for decades. St. Louis Arch appears to be an experiment in weather modification. The HARP device appears to be an experiment in weather modification. Who knows what the Russians or the Chinese are doing? There's some sort of technology out there. There's been lots of work in the field of weather control. Using silver iodide inside of thunderstorms to decrease the size of hail. That goes on in many parts of the world to alleviate that problem. They're always firing rockets into the atmosphere in China to manipulate the weather. But is this a good idea? You wonder if you could steer a tornado. What would it take? Even a nuclear weapon might just nudge it, if even that. One challenge with that is your shockwave is going to be hard to focus, perhaps, and it might cause the damage you were hoping to avoid with the tornado. I would be looking at how much can I control or change local pressures in the atmosphere near and around the tornado. These are forces at work that could wipe out major cities. And we're finding out every day new things that we've never seen before. So maybe the lesson learned here is we shouldn't meddle with forces that we don't really understand because we may not like the result. Weather. At its best, it can cleanse and renew, but at its most extreme, it can destroy everything in its path, no matter how much time and money we spend trying to control it and predict it, it remains as many things in our world. The unexplained. All right, brothers and sisters. There you have it. All right. The war against the planet. War against nature. You know, we've always talked about that. How they use the weather as a weapon. But in order to top that, we must tap into extremely high levels of intelligence. And it's going to take us to study their system 
in order to how in order to find out how to break it. We know about the Orgone, but there's something more powerful. There's something more powerful. And we're gonna find this. We're gonna find it this calendar. Location, here. Strait of Gibraltar, class, light, magnitude, 4.0, four minutes ago. We're gonna find it this year. This calendar year. That's all the search, brothers and sisters. And study and search. And study and search. And study and search. Because they know how to use a weapon as with the weather as a weapon. It was so nice and hot yesterday and walked out the door this morning. And damn near freezing cold, 56 degrees. What the fuck is going on? They use the weather as a weapon to fight against us, to fight against nature. When they fight against nature, they're fighting against us. Many of us don't realize that. When they fight against nature, they're fighting against us. So, something for you to think about. Something for you to think about. Let's get studying, brothers and sisters. And share some of your knowledge here on this forum. Alright? Catch you guys later.